Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming, back with more Legends of Eidolon, and we're taking a look at the Talent Book Library today. The Talent Book Library is unlocked in the Construction Workbench, and once you have the first level unlocked, you'll be able to use the library. However, future upgrades in the Construction Workbench does increase your checkout refresh speed, which we'll get to in just a little bit. So once you unlock your Talent Book Library, you'll have access to this new building here. And when you get here, there's two sections to this that we wanna talk about. And it's the Talent Book Library that we're gonna go over first. And then there's also the VIP Bookshelf, which we'll go over a little bit later. The Talent Book Library is how you can upgrade the maximum level of each of your talents. And to do that, you wanna select which class you wanna use. This is the basic class, so either the Warrior, the Archer, or the Mage here. And then once you select which class, you have to select which talent tree you want. And this is tab one, tab two, and then it starts being the selection between either the Barbarian and the Squire or the Elite classes after that. So, and then the next thing is selecting the talent that you want to upgrade. So this starts from the top left-hand corner and goes across to the right. And then it starts the second row after that. Every time you select that talent, it will give you a display above your character on the maximum level for that specific talent. So you can see if it's even needed to upgrade that specific talent for this character. The next thing is the number of checkouts that you have. This is the number of times you can actually check out a talent book. Uh, the negative to having a high number of checkouts is your time needed for your next checkout increases for each t each number that you have here. So at base, for when you have one checkout, it only takes an hour to get your next checkout. But as you get up to the 10, 12 mark, then it'll start taking more than a day to get one more additional book. Uh, as you can see, I haven't spent them in a little while, but we're gonna start going over how to upgrade now. So I do wanna upgrade a elite talent for this class. And we're gonna look at the uh, cooking benefits here. And I really wanna upgrade this Apocalypse Chow. So as you can see, when I select this, my maximum level is 100. And my book range right now is between 125 and 155. So when I select a checkout talent book, it's gonna drop a book on the ground, it'll pick it up. And then if I'm looking at it, I can see my, this can increase my talent up to a total of 142. It's not quite my maximum level, but it is still a pretty good option. You can check out multiple books here at a time, so you can check out two or three of them. And when you pick all of these up, you can just click on them and see what the total max level is here. So the next one's even lower at 129, and then I have a 138. So it can take some chances to actually get the level that you're looking for here. But there is a solution to make this a little bit easier. If you have the automation arm unlocked from the construction workbench, the last upgrade that you can get is the book reservation system. And this allows you to spend 20 books at a time, but it guarantees to be the highest maximum level possible that you've currently unlocked. So we'll go ahead and activate this and head back down. So I have the automation arm unlocked now and we're gonna go ahead and spend our books here. As you can see, I have a total of 50 right now and I can get up to a maximum of 155 right here. So we'll check out this book now and I spent a total of 20 checkouts and we're gonna check our book now. And from the Warrior Talent book, we can see my maximum level from this is 155. So we can hold it and click here and my talent is boosted. So if we look at our tree now, I can actually upgrade this to a total of 155 points there. There are a few more things to mention before we start talking about the VIP bookshelf, and that's how to upgrade this. Because at base, you start out with your book range being between 101 and 125. So there's a few things that we can upgrade to allow this to get us to a higher maximum levels. So let's talk about that now. The first upgrade is from the Salt Look. It's the fifth upgrade available, and you can get up to 20 additional maximum levels for your talent books from the library. Next is the upgrade from the World 3 Merit Shop, and this will allow you to get an additional 10 maximum possible levels from your talent books. The third upgrade is from the World 3 Achievement Checkout Takeout, and this requires you to check out a thousand books from the Talent Book Library. This can take quite a bit of time, so make sure you're checking out as often as you can. 
but it does give you five additional maximum levels for your talent book library, and it does increase your library charge rate by 30%. To start upgrading our minimum level for our talent books, you wanna look at the library double agent. This is a bribe bot in the world one stamps, and it does increase your minimum level by four. Uh, it does cost about 10 platinum to unlock this library double agent. Next, we're taking a look at the gym shop, and this is burning bad books here. There's a total of four upgrades that you can buy for a total of 1,450 gems, but it will give you up to 20 levels to your minimum level on your talent books that you check out. There's also a few ways to increase the speed that you can gain new checkouts. And we're gonna start with the Biblio stamp in the World One Stamps. And each level of this will give you 1% more talent book library refresh speed. After that, taking a look in the World Two Alchemy, the bubble number 11 here, ignore overdues, can also increase your book checkout speed. There's also a minor bonus from the Vial in Alchemy, Chonker Chug, and this can give you another decent boost to your talent checkout speed. And your last bonus to the basic talent book library is from your World 4 Cooking. The Fortune Cookie Meal can give you quite a big bonus to your library checkout speed. I do want to cover the VIP bookshelf briefly really quick, and these follow the same rules as far as needing your checkouts to unlock new talent books. However, there are five special talent books in your star talents that you can unlock here. You do need different levels of VIP membership to unlock each of the books. And the last book here requires about 150% VIP membership to unlock. It does cost five checkouts for each attempt, uh, but it does follow your same maximum level. However, your minimum level is always one here, so it can take quite a few checkouts. But let's talk about how to get that VIP membership really quick. So the first is from the World 4 Cooking, and this is the garlic bread. It's the basic level that gives you the start of your VIP membership. After that, you have the sour fish as well as the orange here that can all give you additional VIP membership. And the other way to get VIP membership is from the pet arena. From your bonuses, as early as round five, you can get more VIP membership and then you don't get your next boost until round 80, and this gives you quite a large chunk of change for your VIP membership. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this type of content, and a huge shout out to our Patreon members that support the work we do. Thank you from all of us here at Nocturne Gaming. If you would like to become a patron and get some added benefits, check out the link in the description. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please leave them down below for me, and we'll see you next time.